Yoshi, what's wrong? I, like, all I did was send you to go find a new sponsor. Dude, I had a new problem with this sponsor. Nerds Gummy Clusters gives you a crippling addiction. Oh my god. Did you audio test already? So if you guys have seen our last video talking about the overview of my belt and all the things that I was uh, running on it, currently uh, decided to make and build a, another belt. So I've got another Blue Force Gear chalk belt here. This is the new version. The new version uh, has a couple of different upgrades and things that they removed and added. So we'll talk very, very briefly about that and then we'll get into actually assembling the belt. Going from the uh, legacy belt, which is the old belt, to this one, a couple of things that I've noticed that they've changed is that the front loop up here is smaller. So it used to take up two molly spaces, now it's just one. Not a big deal there. I actually like it because I can add more pouches going towards my hip line. That helps quite a bit. And the uh, belt keepers are no longer there anymore. So that is something that they removed. Um, they took the belt keepers that hold this tail in, out, not a massive ordeal. They did give you a nice little glove hanger and clip that can help hold this in place. But I kind of liked those uh, belt keepers. But that's uh, most of the updates to the outer belt. I think it's a little more rigid, to be honest, than the old belt was. It's a nice feature. Still the same shape though, same belt, same laser cut molly, same cobra buckle. But that's the outer belt. The inner belt is where a, a couple more changes happen. So the inner belt, they added a little bit of padding and stiffness to the inner belt. It's no longer this flappy thing. There is some structure and rigidity to this, as well as it's thicker. So there is some material behind this and it's padded. It's nice on the hips, it actually allows you to crank down the belt a little bit more, get it tighter. They went away from the Velcro style belt closure to a clip style. So that gives you a little bit more of room to play in terms of so far as like tightness. However, this belt attachment system, I'm still kind of getting used to. It is kind of a pain to take it off when it's under full tension because it's a C-clip. But other than that, I really have no gripes. I actually like the upgrades that they did the, the, the new 2.0 belt. I still have a soft spot for the Legacy belt. Certain spots, certain things that I liked about it. But, thus being, that's the new belt. And we're gonna go ahead and start assembling it. What I like to do when I first get a new belt is I kinda like to put it on, see where everything's gonna go. Now, I know how I personally like my pouches to run. So I know roughly where I'm gonna put them. However, I'm gonna show you my thought process anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this belt on and kind of figure out where I wanna put all my pouches. So what I'm doing currently is I'm trying to figure out where I want this pouch. I like to run my pistol pouches as my first magazine just a little bit in front of my hip. So the belt here, I'm gonna use this first molly slot for my first mag. This takes up three molly slots, so that's gonna be one, two, three over here. So that's gonna be my pistol mags there. Working from there, I now have my rifle mags. Now these take up four molly slots, so I'm gonna go from the fourth molly slot here and essentially go four over. So what that's gonna look like is I'm gonna have three mags here, or my three pistol mags, and then my two rifle mags right behind it. And that's gonna put my mags right where I want them. So I have one just in front of my hip, then my other two pistol mags, and my rifle mags are still accessible this way. Also, that's gonna put my dump pouch where I usually have it, which is right behind my left back. So we're gonna show you how to put these mag pouches on. Got our STAC triple magazine pouch here. I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you how to put it on. First things first, looking at the molly on the back. I did go ahead and get some malice clips, so today we're gonna be using these guys. Uh, these are from Tactical Taylor. And first things first, what I want to do is take the malice clip and slide it all the way through the back of the uh, molly here. So that's going to go in and all the way up. Now, you, typically you want to use all three slots. I'm only going to use two because I'm lazy. Um, that may prove to be a poor choice later, but I'll pay the consequences for it. So. Once I have all the mouse clips all the way up like this, I'm gonna go ahead and weave this through the molly here. Now it's super important to understand that you do need to weave this through the molly. You don't wanna just kind of loop this straight through and clip it down. Um, you do need to weave it. 
Um, weaving the molly is going to allow you to get correct tension where this is going to sit flat to the belt and not have any flex versus kind of just allowing it to sit. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the these sides and go through the back of the belt here. So one there and one there. Okay. Once I'm here, I'm going to kind of fold this over and these are going to come back through the center portion of the molly on the back of the pouches. So this is going to come up kind of like that and that's going to come up kind of like that. Now keep in mind if this proves to be troublesome for you, the best tool I can have you, I could ever tell you to use is a flathead screwdriver. You can use the flathead to pry at the molly or help you guide the, um, the uh, straps through. However, I don't have one today. These uh, pouches have pre been previously installed, so they're a little bit, a little bit more malleable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of weave these through here as I like literally struggle with the one thing I told you guys I wouldn't. Oh my God, cut this out. <laughs> this is hell. Now weaving Molly is not easy. I think everyone knows this and that's why people try to skip over doing it. But uh, every time I like put Molly on, I always tell myself I'm never gonna do this again and yet here I am doing it again. But that's okay. We do this for you guys. Struggle and suffer for you. Almost there, come on this last one is just, there we go, there we go. All right, so we got it through. Now that it's through, I'm gonna go ahead and weave it back through this part right here, so the lower section of the laser cut molly on the belt, and then clip it into the um, tab at the very bottom. That's gonna lock in, and we're gonna be done. So this is gonna come through like that. Once that's through, same thing on the other side. Now, keep in mind, these may be, these mouse clips may be a little bit harder to deal with than like say something like the, what the fix straps that I was using before. However, I do feel like these are way more solid on the belt than the uh, straps were. So I think it's an actual worthwhile upgrade for myself to actually make the change to the, uh, the malice clips over the straps. Nothing against the straps. They worked great. I just feel like this is a little more rigid. Uh, my peace of mind uh, is a little bit higher with these. So now that I have it through, I'm just going to clip these in at the bottom and I am done. Mag pistol mags are attached, not going anywhere. Super solid attachment style. Um, and it's right where I need it to be. So that's what I planned it to be. Going from there, I'm gonna go ahead and install my rifle mags now. I hate weaving molly. So I've got my S-Tac double uh, rifle mag pouch here. I opted for the one with molly on the outside instead of the naked pouches this time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount it the same way I mounted my pistol, uh, pistol magazine pouches. So y'all can watch me struggle with this one too. It's the same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my malice clips, run them all the way through. Make sure that goes all the way up. Once that's through on one side, again, this takes four molly slots. I'm only using two straps because I'm lazy. This is probably gonna bite me in the butt later, but that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll deal with the consequences. I do have more malice clips, I just don't have them with me. So, now that I have my malice clips all the way through, same thing, going through the back, coming out the front. One's gonna go through here. The other is gonna go through here. And like so. Same thing here, I'm gonna loop these back through the center section on the back of the magazine pouches here. Oh, that one was so much easier. Cooperation, yeah! And it's okay if, if you struggle with this. There, it's not supposed to be easy. Um, if you need a second person, sometimes it helps to have a second set of hands to be able to hold the straps and like the other materials that are kind of lying about. Um, Mitch doesn't want to help me today, so that's okay. I'll just struggle on my own. But uh, once I get this one through here, it'll be the same process of looping it back through the belt. If I get this through, I might just give up here. I hate Molly. This, this might be the end product, guys. This might be the end of the video. We hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Come on. Ow. I just gave myself rash from this. Tools are your friend. Now it's through.
once it's through. Same thing going through the bottom part of the laser cut molly here. Again, I'm not gonna run four straps. I would be here literally till tomorrow and I don't wanna do that. So taking these, cutting them through, putting them back through this laser cut molly. Oh my gosh, please don't. Okay, there we go. I thought I was gonna struggle again. Once that's through. The nice thing about these malice clips is because they're so rigid, you can literally push against them. And they just don't fold away like, like some of the other claw straps do. Uh, these are very, very solid um, polymer. So they kind of just like, you can use the force of the force. Now the force is what gives the Jedi his power. Of it, like the belt against it. And they'll move around um, and they'll push through the holes on their own. Versus having to pull them through uh, with claw straps or something like that. So now that that's through, that's through, almost through. Come on, here we go. These go into the clips in the bottom. And we're in. So there is your rifle mag pouch installed. Again, I mentioned I'm supposed to be running a lot more clips than I am currently. It's just what I have at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the T-Rex arm stump pouch. I like to put it actually where this rear loop is for the helo loop, but uh, I'll show you how I do that. Uh, anyway, so far as this goes, uh, the way that I like to run this pouch, usually you would run it around the whole belt. So you would take the Velcro and run it around the whole belt. However, because I have a helo loop here, there is a specific way I like to run this. So I'll show you how I do it. The way that I like to do this is usually you have this uh, Velcro clasp deal that, that that's how you would attach it to the belt, but you would run it all the way around. Now the way that I, that I like to do this so I still retain usage of my helo loop is I'm gonna take the lid and the top half of the clasp like this and I'm gonna run it through the helo loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All aboard the struggle bus again, cause this is a pretty tight fit, but I'll make it work. Really? Nothing. So like this, essentially this is the lid to my uh, duck pouch here. And I have the top half of the clasp here. Now from there, essentially I'm just gonna run this the inside over the top of the belt, right there. Pull this down and tuck this behind the top part. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this so I don't keep you here all day. Now that I've taken that and kind of tucked it behind, I'm gonna take the other part, the top half here, and fold it over. So now I have my dump pouch attached to the belt. I have my lid here and I still have use of my helo loop here where I can clip in still. If I want, I can clip this away, tuck it away basically, put the lid on the inside of the dump pouch and now I can't use the helo loop. I can take the lid, put it over the top and close my dump pouch or I can clip in and then close this and still have my uh, helo lanyard and my dump pouch closed. All right, so moving on after I have my dump pouch installed, the next thing I would be installing is my IFAC. However, I currently am not, I'm, I'm testing a couple different ones, but if there's anyone out there, you have your own IFAC that you're providing, give us a shout, let us know. We'll, we would love to try it out and throw it on one of our belts. So we've got my Safari Land mid right here, my Safari Land QLS, as well as my T-Rex arm slide strap. That's how I'm gonna be attaching my holster. But uh, we made a real quick discovery. The guys over at Safari Land think they're funny. The holsters that I'm gonna be using, because I have my QLS fork here, that means that I can use different holsters. Now, I have my handy dandy old trusty Surefire holster. Super awesome, um, old faithful for me. However, I've made a recent discovery. The guys over at Alien Gear went ahead and hooked us up. These holsters, the new RDS system, super, super awesome. Uh, I've gotten a chance to run this. We'll have a review on it later, but I'm going to be running one of these two. Installing the Safari Land mid -ride. First things first, you do have to remove the belt buckle. So I'm going to go ahead and fish this back through, pull this guy out. Now keep in mind, there is a little tab, a sizing tab on the inside of the tail. Make sure that that goes through, otherwise you're going to be fighting it the whole time and it does make it more difficult to remove. So once I have this through, I'm going to pull on it. That's going to come through like that. Remove the belt buckle. And then from here, this is where things get a little bit interesting. 
This belt is very rigid and it almost is the exact size of the hole on the Safari Land uh, mid ride. So trying to get this through. Uh, first things first, the way that I like to run my belt is uh, I run the belt through and on the inside instead of on the outside. Some people like it one way or the other. Technically speaking, there is a correct way to do it, but I'm not here to tell you what to do. So I'm gonna fish this through one way to about where I want it, which is going to be roughly there-ish. Now, once it's there, and I can move this a little bit afterwards, but once it's about where I want it, I'm gonna take the other end of the, the uh, tail and I'm gonna fish this back through and pull. Now, this is where it gets a little bit hard, so make sure you pull a little bit harder. Again, this belt is very rigid, so trying to flex it and fish it through is gonna be difficult. But once it's through here, see how I have to flex this through and then just pull on that as hard as you can until it gets flat. Now we're good to go. This thing's all installed. It's about where I want it or where I think I want it and I can adjust this later. It's free, kind of free floating. Um, where did that little keeper go? Now, uh, putting it all back together, uh, this is the belt keeper that I didn't have on there earlier because I took it off, but this thing will go through first. So you'll want to put that back on first. Everything goes in reverse order. From here, now we reinstall the belt buckle. Make sure that you put it in the right way. There is a, a certain way this goes. So fishing this through here and then coming back through. Putting it back together is always easier than taking it apart. But that's about where I want it. And then from there, I'm gonna take this tail, run it back through the keeper so that I have something keeping it and it's not just kind of flapping about in the wind. Now, you can take whatever holster I want. Today, I'm gonna be running the Safari Land or uh, the, uh, holy cow, that was like the blunder of the century. Yeah. Alien gear holster on, because that's what I'm gonna be running today. That pops in just like that and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the belt, try it out, see how I feel about it, all the placement and everything and we'll go from there. All right, so now that I've got my belt set up the way I think I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on, test and check everything and make sure it fits the way I want and everything's where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on. One thing to note, also throwing this belt on, or any belt for that matter, as you're trying to use um, an inner and outer belt system, it is a lot easier to lean up against something, put the back of the belt on, and then try to put it on. But for the sake of today, I'm just gonna toss this on here. So, everything is good to go. All right. Looks like I can go a little tighter on the outer belt. Perfect. So, everything's attached. I do have a little bit of flex here. Let me adjust that here. I think this is about right. It's about where I want everything. Throw some mags in. Throw my multi-tool in. Basically, I want to load this belt as much as I can to see where I want things. Magazine. Whoop. Another magazine. Get the pistol in there. Shot timer usually goes in the front loop here, so that's where I'm gonna put this. Oh, that's gonna work out perfectly. Nerds, sponsored today's video. It's gonna go in the dump pouch. And I think everything's good. Honestly, this fits really well. Belt buckle's a little bit offset. That's okay because the belt overlaps and I want that in the front. But so far as everything fits, everything's where I want it to be. I can get to my pistol very um, fine comes out clear, goes back in clear. I have access to all my magazines. I can get to my dump pouch back here. And then for whatever IFAC I end up running, it'll be right here in this area. And then if I opt to run a knife, it'll be in this area as well. That being said, that's pretty much the belt setup. Put everything where you want it to be, measure it out, um, install the clips, make sure the placement's correct, and you're good to go. So we hope you guys enjoy the video. That's how you pretty much set up your belt and how to assemble it. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, subscribe down below, hit ring the bell for notifications. Make sure you guys hit that link on our bio to uh, check out and see what this month's giveaway is. Hint, hint. I wonder what this month's giveaway might be. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, you know, just me trying to tuck my shirt in so everyone can see what's going on with my flab